Hello, good evening. Hi, Emerson. Aymara, Magdiel, Elizabeth, Francisco, and Jose Enrique. Thank you so much for being on time. All right, I'm checking here and see Magdiel, you're driving. Thank you so much for letting us know. Please drive safe and let us know when you can participate. And the rest of you, how are you doing? How was your day? Today's payday, right? Okay, I think that maybe most of you or all the ones that are here are having dinner or still driving. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, Alexander, thank you so much for letting us know that you're going to be just listening. Okay, I was going to check with you the yesterday's handout. We were not able to check it um during the class. Uh, so oh Alex, welcome to the class. Okay, I'm going to share the document. Okay, here it is the document. Uh, this is what we were working on yesterday and uh, time was not enough to check the exercises, but let me know. Okay, yes, Magdiel, thank you so much for letting us know you're still driving. Um, drive safe. Hope that you get to home soon. Um, let's see, number, well, we did the number one and two before you were uh, sent to the breakup rooms. Um, does anybody of you would like to share the number three? How did you solve it? What do you have in number three? For number three, you could use the present continuous for future, or you could have also used the will for future. So in case that you use the present continuous to express future in this, it would be Rob is having, Rob is having his house and then painted, right? Yes, Rob is having his house painted next weekend or you could have also used the going to uh, rob is going to have his house painted next week any of those options are correct number four what do you have in number four do not go to the her for friend by her friend Aha, uh -huh. Julia, excellent. Thank you so much, Mario. And in here, as we're using to use cat, so to buy her a ring, excellent. Thank you so much for providing us the answer. Now, um, number five. What do you have in number five? Some help. Uh-huh. Okay. 
And in this, uh, you can use, um, so you could have used help me. Uh, so you could have to carry, to carry the grocery or without it, without a two. With two, you can use the infinitive with, without two or with two and it doesn't change meaning. So it, any of the two is correct. Thank you so much, Maria. And number six, what do you got? When we were little, our parents, used to excellent used to let us stay up late on Sunday. yes stay up late on Saturday that's it thank you so much and then in the number seven Number seven, please try not to. Make. Excellent, that's correct. Make. Make her cry. Number eight. This can help me understand positive verbs better. Excellent. Help you. And you can use that too, to understand or just understand, either or. Help you understand or to understand. Remember that with help, you can use to or you can omit it and that's fine and number nine laura never laura never Let's. Excellent. Let's. People tell her what to do. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mario. Your answers are correct. Now, my friend, in number 10, my friend. Number 10, my friend. Got me. Excellent. Got me. Got me. Help. Help. Help her. Uh, when we use get, the verb is always infinitive. La diferencia si usamos help, con help podemos usar el verbo en forma simple o en infinitivo agregándole el to al verbo. Es opcional con help, pero con get... Ahí sí siempre tiene que ir el verbo en infinitivo con el to. Ajá. Okay. Cuando, ajá, cuando estamos um, con get or got, yes. Mm -hmm. So, number 11.
feeling helps to fall asleep first. Excellent. Reading helps you fall asleep. Y aquí sí, este, podemos decir fall asleep or to fall asleep. Aquí sí es opcional cuando usamos help. And number 12. I have. I have a plumber fix my plumbing this morning. Excellent. I have a plumber fix my plumbing this morning. Good. Okay, so this is how you should have them. Um, now, then we have another set of sentences to continue practicing this topic. And um, I would like to know if you completed them yesterday. Did you finish this part too? Didn't you finish this part? No. No. Okay. Let's see. I'll get a team here. Okay, I'm not going to create breakup rooms. I'm going to allow you some time for you to Try to complete as many as you can, and then we're going to proceed to check them.
Okay, we're going to check. So for number one, what do you have? Number uh, me teacher. Number one, I never, <clears throat> I never let my children play video games after school. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number two. Um, the the police made him pay for the damage he caused. Mm -hmm. Make or made? Made. With Excellent. It. Yes, made. Excellent. Number three. Uh, Rob had his house paint when he won the lottery. Great. That is correct. Number four. Uh, when my car broke down, my wife let me let me drive drive her drive hers. Excellent. Let me drive hers. And number five. Uh, Julia got her boyfriend to buy her a ring. Excellent. That is correct. Um, would someone else like to continue? Five more? From, let's see, from number six to ten. Volunteer? We know us little. No more volunteers? Do you have more sentences, Alexander? Number six? Uh, yes, teacher. Number six, right? Yes. Okay. Um, when I was little, my parents have always tried to make me think about the consequences of my doings. Great. Fantastic. Number seven? Uh, number seven. Michael had his car stolen while he was doing shopping. Great, correct. Number nine. Uh, number nine. When- oh, Sorry, number eight. <laughs> okay, um, Sam helped me carry the groceries. That's okay, thank you so much. Number nine. Um, when we were little, our parents used to let us play, let us stay up late on Saturdays. Great. Continue, please. Number nine. Please try to not, try not to make her cry. That's correct. Excellent. Do you want to continue with 11? Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, Jane got her daughter to help her tidy the apartment. Okay, tidy the apartment. Uh, tidy the apartment. Thank uh, you okay. so much, continue. Um, this exercise can help you understand causative verbs better. Okay, great. 13. Uh, Laura never lets people tell her what to do because she's stubborn. Stubborn, okay, great, continue. Um, my friend helped me with her CV when she applied for a job. That is correct, thank you, 15. Um, his story made, made everyone in the classroom think about climate change. That's correct. Let's continue. Reading helps you fall asleep easier. That's correct. 17. Um, I had a plumber fix my plumbing this morning. Okay. You got a call? Um, yeah, uh, num number uh, 18, right? Uh-huh. When they arrived at the camp, 
they make the children take off their dirty clothes and take a bath. That is correct. Thank you. 19. I'll have my secretary contact you as soon as I can. Correct. And finally, number 20. I love my neighbor, Helen, because she always helps me look after my pets. Great. Excellent job, Emerson. All your answers were correct. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Thank you. I hope that the rest of you have the same answers. If you have any question, let me know. Okay. Uh, to continue with the topic, I sent you a PowerPoint presentation with some exercises related to the first two causative verbs that we studied. It's um, have and got. So for the vocabulary part to continue practicing, we have uh, improvement. Do you have this in the PowerPoint I sent before class? And we have the nine commonly offered services. Um, I volunteer to read the nine commonly offered services. I know some of you are just going to be listening because you're driving. Alex also is going to be just listening. Um, and the rest of you, are you going to be just listening? No. Um, maybe you Thank you, Alex. Okay. Yeah. Nine commonly offer services. Language tutoring, computer services, house cleaning, home repairs, moving services, financial services, music lessons, pet hiring, and clothing alterations. Great. In a bad vocabulary. Okay, we have pet sitting. Pet sitting that um maybe can be a new word for us. Pet sitting. Well, it's similar to babysitting, but in this case, it's pet. Um, thank you so much for reading. Why now? Let's answer these questions. Why would someone need these services? Have you ever used any of them? What are some other common services and skills people offer? I'll give you time for you to answer the three questions in your notebook. Take notes or make a brainstorm, and then we're going to uh, speak a little bit about these services. Okay.
Okay, volunteer to answer the first question. What would someone need these services? What do you think? Well, in my case, I usually use the pet sitting because I well I have a pet, a cat, and well, there was a couple of times where I had I had to go out from a uh, travel, and I didn't have a place to to let the let my my cat, so. That that that's that way that was when I used a uh, pet sitting. Okay. Um what are some other common services and skill people offer? Well, commonly I add home repairs and computer services and well the clothing alterations. Okay, clothing alterations. All right, Sorry. and how was your experience with the pet sitting? Well, fortunately, it was was very good. I thought that my pet will suffer from being alone with a in a unknown place, but it only was for five days, and when I get back and I pick pick it pick her. Um, she was uh, calm, she was happy, and everything was fine with her. Is it expensive? Well, not such expensive because, uh, well, the, the, the veterinarian is uh, it's, it's part, of my, part of my family, so <laughs> I didn't pay anything, only let her the food for my cat. Wow, <laughs> that's I was, nice. I was lucky. Yes, you're lucky. I wish I had a bet in my family because the, it's really expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, but it worth it. It worked it. Yeah. <laughs> For your participation, I imagine. Anybody else? What do you think of the first one? Why would someone need these services? Well, as Emerson already said, because, well, he needed someone to take care of his pet. Um, that's a good reason. Another reason might be that, uh, well, in my case, I sometimes use the clothing alterations because I don't know how to, how to um, do any kind of alterations I don't know how to well maybe I can um I can uh fix a hem for example you know what's a hem hem I'm writing in the chat a uh, hem as in ruedo so that's I think it's the the, the I, I sometimes can do a, a hem but just to fix it not to cut it uh a piece of cloth not to cut it and, and hem it so no just just to fix a hem that's the only thing i can do but uh, I, I don't know anything about alteration so i use that service uh quite frequent um if that's the only one uh, i guess the ones that are listed here and um some others maybe um hair salon it's not on the list, but it's just another service that I I use frequently. But and um, what about you? Any other volunteer? Okay. As there are no more volunteers, I'm going to go to the next exercise. This perspectives. Uh, okay, so we're going to listen to this advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? This is a question that we're going to answer after we listen. And give me one second to share the sound. 
Okay, ready. Unit 9. Improvements. Page 58, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Part A. Listen to an advertisement. Would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Hazel's Personal Services. Don't have time to do all the things you need to do? Call Hazel's Personal Services. Get your apartment cleaned, have your car washed, get your computer fixed, and much more, all for a very low price. Call Hazel, 646-555-2121. If Hazel doesn't offer the service you need, she'll find someone who does, guaranteed. Hazel offers computer support, repairs, beauty services, financial services, laundry and dry cleaning, pet sitting. Okay, that was the advertisement. Um, now, the question, would you use a service like this? Why or why not? Well, maybe I could use, I could request uh, the laundry and dry cleaning service. <laughs> <laughs> why? Because uh, I don't have much time to <clears throat> laundry, take the laundry on my clothes. And also the, the, the dry, you know, maybe Hazel ha, ha, has um, um, secadora. Dry, a dry, a dry machine. Okay. Yes. So yes, probably they have the, the laundry and dry uh, machine. Well, the washing machine, of course, and the dry machine as well. Uh, cleaning. Uh, does it, maybe it includes ironing, right? Yeah, he, he should include it. Yes. Uh, ironing takes lots of time and yes. Most of people doesn't have uh, time to do the laundry cleaning and also the ironing. That takes time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your answer. Is there anybody else that would like to share opinion? I, I think it's too good to be through to find all the services in just one place. Because she said that if she doesn't offer the service, she will find someone who does. Sometimes it's quite difficult to find someone um, who can do specific things for us. Um, uh, for example, I've been having a hard time trying to find a, a mason. So I, I need to have some um, notifications at home. So maybe Hazel has it. Okay, what service do you need or want? Well, I'd like to have a mason services. And what questions would you ask Hazel? Hmm, probably price. <laughs> That's the first thing I would ask. What's the price? What is the cost of a service? And uh, yeah, probably time. How long will it take? Tell me. What about you? Well, maybe I uh, I could look for maybe car repair services. Yeah, uh, some sometimes I I must uh, change some components or well give give it the frequently maintenance um maybe like that um and i think that maybe um car wash service um i don't know maybe i i will ask to hazel 
uh, if well the how can I say this? Um, if she has like a, a specific area to work or if she can, um, well, maybe if she can come to my home uh, to do it or, well, yeah, maybe if the services has, uh, if the services have some limitation, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm, those are very good questions. So basically, you would ask for um, car maintenance services and also uh, car wash, right? And all the mm -hmm. questions are, yes, good questions. If they have a service at home or if you have to take the car to their location. That's nice. Thank you so much, Alex. Anybody else? Okay, um, I'm going to stop for a while. It's time to take, uh, to check attendance. So, let's say present when you hear your names and then we're going to continue with the exercise regarding to this topic. Mm -hmm. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Alex Enrique Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present. Thank you. Teacher. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Teacher. Yes. He did have present. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Gertrude Saimara Vaquerano. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto. Hazel Vanessa Menjibar. José Enrique Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present miss. Thank you. Magdiela Sau García. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Marilyn Alexandra Granda. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Victor Noé Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Pierre Byron Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales. Okay, Alexandra, thank you so much. Well, I think you wrote in the WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, I'll continue sharing. Uh, 
Okay, so um, this is just to remember, well, to remind you that um, we have been working with get or have. Uh, those are the first two causative verbs that we studied. And now uh, with get, uh, I want to, you to focus the attention on get. When uh, we're going to be practicing with get or have something done. Okay. In the previous exercises, um, we were practicing with get and have, uh, and then the person who did the action. When we mention the person and use get, we need to use the verb in infinitive with to. But when we use uh, the get with something, uh, we do not need the infinitive, right? So that's the, eso fue lo que vimos en la primera clase uh, del get y el have. So dependerá de si es get something done. Um, entonces ahí si no utilizamos el infinitivo, el to. Nada más cuando mencionamos el doer, el, la persona quien hizo la acción, entonces sí. Eh, y con el get usamos to. Pero cuando nos estamos refiriendo a la persona o la mencionamos. Eh, pero cuando es una cosa, eh, no, no usamos el to. Y el verbo lo usamos en participio. Eso está en, la, en el material que estudiamos, eh, creo que hace dos o tres días. Eh, but now we're going to be practicing get or have something done. As a, as a review, so let me play the recording. And listen to the grammar focus. Page 59, exercise 3, grammar focus. Get or have something done. Use get or have, the object, and the past participle of the verb to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Do something yourself. I clean my apartment every week. He is washing his car. They fixed their computer. Did you repair your watch? Where can I print these pictures? Get or have something done for you. I get my apartment cleaned every week. I get my apartment cleaned by Hazel every week. He is having his car washed. They got their computer fixed. Did you have your watch repaired? Where can I get these pictures printed? Okay, um, so this is the sentence telling when you do something for yourself, that's a regular structure, right? But what we're going to be practicing is um, get or have something done for you, as we see here in the example. And um, now we're going to complete this exercise, exercise A. We're going to be completing the sentences to express that the service are um, performed or done by someone else, which is what we've been doing. But in this case, we are applying it a little bit more to a, a real life setting and uh, um, in daily basis situations. Yeah, let's see the first example. It's um, already done for you. It says, uh, Luis didn't mow the lawn for, uh, in front of his house. He had it mowed. So we have the verb here we're going to use have. In number two, we're going to use get and so on. And give you some minutes for you to complete these sentences. You can work on your notebook and this is in the presentation that I sent before the class if you want to work from there.
Okay, let's check a uh, volunteer for number two. Thank you, Alex. Samantha is in cutting her own hair. She gets it cut. She gets it cut? Um, yes, that's a good option. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, yes, she's getting it cut. So you are correct. Excellent job, Alex. Um, volunteer for number three. Barbara doesn't clean her apartment. She had a good clean. Excellent. She has it clean. Very good. Thank you so much, Maria. Number four. Uh, Joan and John didn't paint their house. They got their, they got their house painted. Yes, they got their house painted or they got it painted. Excellent. Thank you so much, Emerson. And uh, finally, number five. Dal is in repairing his bike. He has it repaired. He have or he has it. And didn't get it. Sorry. Yes. Same. Okay. He's yes. He's having it repaired. That's correct. Thank you so much. Okay, so then we have uh, this next exercise. Take turns describing the services in the pictures. So uh, you have the number one, the name of the lady is Maylene. In number two, it's Rodrigo. Number three is Maggie. And four is Simon. So they are uh, having different services there, as you see in the pictures. Uh, for example, number one, it's already done for you. It says, Maylene is getting her skirt shortened. So those in those cases, as we are going to describe what we're um, looking at in the picture, so they are like in, in progress, right? So it says, is getting, since it is a, a, an action in progress, we're going to use in the present continuous to express or to describe these services. So uh, volunteer for number two. Um, number two could be Rodri Rodrigo got his clothes iron iron it. Uh huh. That's that can be excellent. Rodrigo's got her uh, his um his clothes ironed. Very good. Number three. Maggie. Maggie is getting Mary is oh, oh Maggie. Maggie is getting her nails done or her nails uh painted. Last Simon.
I see a mechanic there. Uh, Simon got his car fixed. Okay, Simon got his car fixed. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. Let me um see what's next exercise. Well, this is a pronunciation exercise. It's a sentence stress. Um, the point here is this. Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, the sentence B, it is no longer stressed. See here, see here where you see the dots? We're going to be paying attention to pronunciation. Page 59, exercise four, pronunciation. Sentence stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, sentence B, it is no longer stressed. Where can I get my watch fixed? You can get it fixed at the time shop. Where can I have my shoes shined? You can have them shined at Sunshine Shoes. Page 59, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Sentence Stress Part A. Listen and Practice Notice that when the object becomes a pronoun, sentence B, it is no longer stressed. Where can I get my watch fixed? You can get it fixed at the time shop. Where can I have my shoes shined? You can have them shined at Sunshine Shoes. In part B, it says uh, discuss about three things that you want to have done or asking the questions. We're going to be practicing in, your, in further exercises that are included in the presentation. Uh, let's see this one, different places, different ways. In group, this is a group work activity. So um, are these services available in your country? For those that aren't, do you think they would be a good idea? And here we have examples on how to ask questions about services available here in our country. Can you, so we're going to start asking, can you, can you have your portrait done by a street artist? Second question, can you get your blood pressure checked at a pharmacy? Next, can you have your clothes dry cleaned at work? Can you get the library books delivered to your home? Can you have your shoes shine on the street? Can you get your car washed for less than $15? Can you have a suit made on under 24 hours? Can you get your teeth whitened? Can you have a pizza delivered after midnight? Those are the questions that will be practicing in group. The idea is to practice your speaking. And we have one example here at the bottom of the page. Student A and student B. Student A asks, can you have your portrait drawn by a street artist? Student B, you will have to answer, sure. You can have it done at Los Planes de Rendero, maybe at the Mirador or a downtown. So that's the idea, to ask the questions and say where can you get the services. If not, if we don't have it here, I think that we have all these services that we are asking about. But if no, you can ask if it would be a good idea. 
So I'm going to create the breakout rooms. And if for some reason you are living uh, like speaking alone or you want to practice, let me know so I can move you to a different room. Okay, so <clears throat> first question. Um, can you have, can you get your blood pressure checked at a pharmacy? Sure, you can have it done at the pharmacy at San Nicolas. <laughs> or, well, yeah, if you pay the VIP. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, right. Pharmacy so San Nicolas, do it. Yeah. Yes, you can you even can uh, take a a date uh, or I don't know how can I say that. An appointment? Uh, appointment. An appointment when you are asked for a doctor advise you or check you. Okay, yes, so you can request a medical appointment in order to uh, get a um, doctor to check you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's nice. And yeah. you can get you can get your uh, blood pressure uh, checked. And how much is it? Uh, well, the... If you pay the VIP card, the, I know that the, the medical appointment is free, uh, but by blood pressure, I'm not sure. Okay, well, thank you, continue. That's good to know. Okay. Um, well, maybe you know about this because <laughs> you say it before, uh, can you, have your clothes dry clean at work? Well, at work, mm, it, no, but that would be great because, you know, we don't, I don't have uh, the, enough time to get mm -hmm. my, my clothes clean, clean it, right? So mm -hmm. near from work, uh, there's, no place to to pick up all, all my clothes and get it get it dry you know but yeah. it will be good mm -hmm. yeah I mean, I mean for example I, I go before to go to my to my job I maybe mm -hmm. could go first to the dry clean let let all my clothes there and at the end of the shift going to pick up all the, oh, all that's, the cool. Mm -hmm. that's cool man. and what about to well maybe have your uh, get a get a library books delivered to your home mm. that was a book today <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not so usual <laughs> yeah um, mm. but yeah um i heard that um well, my my older son he loves reading, 
so during the pandemic, uh, he wanted to continue reading. He needed books, so we um, we purchased them online at the, at the La Internacional. Ah, but this is a bookstore, not a library. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, no, forget it. <laughs> what about you, Magdiel? What do you think? Hello. You... Um, in my case, I can, I can get books. Uh, um, right to your home. To my yeah. home, should be. What about your shoes? Can you have your shoes shine on the street? Mm, no, I can't too. You can't. Can you ask the same question to um, maybe Alex, Elizabeth? We also have Jose Enrique. Okay. And you have your shoes. Shine it on the street. Anybody from the group? Well, for me, no. I well, I knew that in the historic center there is a place where there are a lot of these uh, people that work um, shine shine shoes, but. Um, I I I went uh, recently um and they aren't there currently yeah because the the works that well the all the things that the government is working. What about in Santa Tecla? I remember I see some people that um that work clean shoes there. Okay, but anyways, continue. And let me see. Can you get your car washed for less than fifteen dollars? It, it depends if you want a deep uh, wash, uh, maybe not, <laughs> but uh, normal, yes, you can have it um, even by just uh, for just um, four dollars, yeah, the most basic, I think. Two dollars? Yeah, two, two or three or, yeah, it, it's not... Um, Depend on the quality of service. Uh -huh. It's not so expensive if you want um, uh, I, a regular I or a basic wash. Uh -huh. Even if you want uh, wax to the paint of the car or um, if you want uh, that uh, someone clean the I don't know how can I say this <laughs> La tapiceria that is more expensive okay so if you want a basic a regular um, car wash, it can cost you uh, three or four dollars. That's the cheapest price. If yeah. you want your car to be waxed, the cost increase. And if you yeah. want the, the seats, uh, the seats inside of a car washed or cleaned, it's like, no, it's a washed one. There are some uh, some places that can wash the seats of the car, right? Yeah. That is more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I asked to a friend 
uh, recently uh, he said to me that around um, fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's around fifty fifty for um a regular car, but if you took a van or a suburban, it's like sixty. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and let me see. Can you have pizza delivered after midnight? The last question. No, I can't. That's it. Oh, suit. Uh huh. Can you have a suit made in under four hours? And that's at the nails get. No, I can't. I can make it. I think it's kind of difficult to do it or make it under 24 hours. Sorry, I had a call from work. Um, what what question are you are you going now? Have we have a suit made in under twenty four hours? Ah, uh, well, I don't have it, but. Sometimes, well, not sometimes, that would be a good idea to get uh, a store with 24-hour uh, services for a suit me. Sometimes there goes emergencies <laughs> or uh, not plan an invitation. <laughs> Well, can you may have get can you get uh, your teeth whitened? Anybody from the group? Can I, you? Uh huh. Um. I get my teeth whitened with Colgate Luminous White. You do it yourself, <laughs> so. Maybe we can do it by, by ourselves using, um, I don't know how to say, bicarbonato. <laughs> And the last one, um, can can you have a pizza delivered after midnight? I think uh, no, because it's it's later. Yeah, it's it's really late. Um. I think that it would be a great idea to have a pizza delivered after midnight, since I think that people who wants to order a pizza after midnight is probably because they are having a party. 
most likely they will have alcohol and uh, it's not <laughs> it's not a good idea to go out of the house or, or go out from the party and look for a pizza and drive and um, uh, if you have been drinking alcohol so that would be a great idea to have a food or pizza delivered after midnight but maybe it's not it's not a it's not a profitable business only the the donuts <laughs> <laughs> uh, the donuts really yeah and now from starting starting from tomorrow <laughs> ah and can they from be tomorrow. delivered uh can they be delivered after midnight maybe not delivered but the some stores will be open in 24 24 hours oh yes what I like about that season is that you got fresh donuts. They taste better, I think. Yeah, they they should taste they should taste better. Ah, uh -huh, because you can get fresh donuts every day in September. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, when you go in um some other month during the year. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, they taste the difference since they are not, mm, they are not fresh. So that's one thing that I like about um, buying or getting donuts in September. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be great. Yes. So starting tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Everybody getting tomorrow donuts. we'll have donuts. <laughs> Yes, and most of, well, a lot of people got paid today. <laughs> so yesterday, well, tomorrow it's going to be crazy at the Mr. Donald. Now I feel like I need a donut. That's, well, maybe tomorrow. Not tomorrow, maybe next week. Well, it's, it's, it's crowded every day. So let us continue. Okay, next exercise. It is on this page and you also have it in the presentation and let me okay this is the um the next activity that we have here so we're going to read the comments made by parents and uh, discuss why do you think they feel this way and then you have to think on two arguments to support each point of view. Um, volunteer to read the comments. Our daughter. Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdia. Our daughter want, wants to get her ears pierced. We think she should wait until she's 16. Wait, uh huh. She should wait. wait. Should wait. Excellent. We think, Continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. We think. Our, we think should wait until she's sixteen. Great. Continue. Okay. Our son wants to get his computer upgrade, but it's not necessary. We just bought it. Bought it last year if your daughter if our daughter insists on having her nails done she has to pay for it herself that's right our son wants to buy a motorcycle 
he has the money, but he feels he should save it for college. Our daughter wants to go to a rock concert with her friends. Absolutely not. Our son wants to have his hair cut at an experience salon, expensive salon. What's wrong with a regular barber? Okay, there is one more. Regardless? Regardless of the color, we refuse to let our kids get their hair dyed. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Martiel. Um, is there any question about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No? Okay, now uh, that is, uh, well, it says pay work, but we can go with the discussion in group. Uh, why do you think they won't let their daughter get her ears pierced? That would be the question. Why do you think they won't let their daughter get her ears pierced? And then the next part of the exercise, you think in two arguments to support each point of view. For example, the first one says, they probably think she's too young. They might also feel that she, and you continue uh, providing your arguments or opinions about this. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now remember that you have this in the presentation so that you can uh, maybe share a screen as you were doing in the previous exercise. So let me stop sharing to create the breakout rooms for you to practice uh, your speaking. Okay, um, so the first question, um, why do you think they won't let, let their daughter get her ears pierced? Well, for me, they probably think she's too young because she doesn't have the Mm, the maturity to to get her own decisions or take her own decisions. Yes. So maybe uh, mm -hmm. maybe if she's doing things like that, they she probably do another things that they get her parents annoying. Yes, and she may regret those decisions in the future. Uh, what do you think, Magdil? You are talking about the first one. Yes. Okay. I think uh, they they have to they have to to complete or or I don't know. They have, 
they have enough enough um, age. In, in, your, in our case, is eighteen years, but uh, I think it it depends on the 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 parents. Yeah, I think some some parents let let their children do some kind of things like that. Yeah, I have. Well, I had a. <laughs> And it's uh, and it's girlfriend that uh, she decided to do to peer her her ear. I I in that moment I I don't um, I wasn't agree with that. And <laughs> for her bad luck, her ear starts to grow like um like a sponge for that piercing. <laughs> So she has to 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 rip to rip off. Yeah. Here, here, here. <laughs> okay, so her ear got swollen. Oh, uh, swollen. Ah, uh, that is inflamado or hinchado. <laughs> ah, okay, swollen. Let, let, let me type swollen. And you didn't agree. Yeah, I didn't agree to with that, and the, her parents agree with me about it. But well, it's it's her ear, so she, her body, her decision. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Okay. Good. So you didn't agree. Uh, a veces es un poquito con el agree because en, en español decimos estar de acuerdo, entonces a veces nos confundimos y dice I am not agree or I was not agree, but uh, no. En inglés no se usa con el cero estar, so it's just like mm, I agree or I don't agree or I disagree, so yes, but great. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I think that it depends if that is uh, piercing the ears is not for everybody. Some people is also allergic to some materials. So maybe she was allergic. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe she was allergic to that kind of metal or something. Yes, because uh, I I think that well, they said that it's like a surgical. Um, it's surgical metal, the, 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 the earrings or the piercing that they put on, they said that they are surgical. But there's some people that maybe church, um, like a certain amount of money saying that is uh, made of surgical materials, but they aren't. So... That's maybe yeah. another problem. Okay, continue. Okay, what what do you think, uh, Elizabeth? I think um, maybe they are right with. Uh, don't be agree because well I am agree with when would you say that maybe she has um, I I agree oh okay I'm gonna agree I when, agree when sin me. el verbo to be um, es diferente será lo que les está explicando so cuando decimos eh, por eso a veces pensamos en I am agree, porque en español decimos estoy de acuerdo, pero en inglés no se usa el cero estar, solo se dice, si es afirmativo decir es, eh, I agree, o si es negativo, I disagree. Just I agree. I agree, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, excellent. Ok, thank you. So I agree with your comment, Emerson. I think uh, she doesn't have the 
madurez, maturity, Mm -hmm. maturity. uh, maturity enough. Is that okay? Enough Or... maturity. Primero el adjetivo. Okay. Oh, permítame. Ajá. Uh -huh. La maturity. Mature enough. So, sería mature enough. Okay. Mature enough or enough maturity. Depende si es adjetivo o el noun. Así iría. Enough maturity? That is correct. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I think uh, she doesn't have enough maturity. Mm -hmm. He's too young. What I about think the... you... mm -hmm. It's important. What is the purpose of make it? I think so. Yes, and also uh, then those are decisions that uh, they may regret in the future because, well, if you're in El Salvador, <laughs> it, it depends. You can, a uh, 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 piercing and tattoos can affect you uh, when it comes to look for a job, right? Yes. Uh... After that, they they wonder eh, because why why don't found I I can't found job. Mm -hmm. Or they have to be hiding tattoos or piercing in order to keep their job. Yes, imagine um, if if I I go to the interview with with peers. I think it depends on the, 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 the. Yeah, but what kind of right. job? Uh huh. What kind of job can you get where they allow you piercings and tattoos? Yeah. Uh huh. So, okay. Now the next one. Our son wants to get his computer upgraded, but it's not necessary. We just bought it last year. <laughs> um, it depends. Uh, <laughs> Because maybe the computer was bought it last year, but um, the requirements or the from that computer are very are too low for the current software in the in the world. I don't know, maybe um, the, the last um, Microsoft Office suite, it demands a lot of a lot of performance for the computer and maybe the computer has low low, low properties okay. or low capacity. Okay, yes, it depends because when it comes to technology, they keep improving like I don't know you cannot say that maybe once a year they come with with something new <laughs> every couple of months right they have something better with more uh, features capacity etc yeah so yeah. yeah I agree with you it depends in one year Technology changes a lot. That's right. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you? Yes, man. I think uh, many programs need update. Every maybe every year or uh, twice a year. Mm 
but it depends on the computer. Okay, it depends on the computer. If they have a very good computer already, why are you going to change, right? Yeah. It depends on their needs, right? Yeah. I think That's it depends right. of their needs. It depends of their needs. Uh huh. Yes, because if um they uh he just want the a new computer because she wants um new features features um I think it's not necessary if the uh -huh. computer is is good. Yes. Okay, so yes, it, it depends if it is just because it's the new computer and then it, and it's just everybody has the new computer, so I must have it too. Mm, that's not necessary to upgrade in that case, right? So um unfortunately we couldn't finish the discussion, but um maybe we'll continue on Friday. Well, tomorrow, remember that. Please remember that we are almost finishing. We are like uh, eight classes to finish the module. So try to work on the platform. Section one, two, midterm, and section number three should be already finished. Try to work on that. And tomorrow we can check in case that you have any question. Um, related to those exercises and we will continue practicing more. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, take care. Well, teacher. You do the same.